다음에 나만 더 먹어. 
ay tanging epekto lamang ng operasyon na ginawa binuo ng iba't ibang ahensya ng national government, particularly PNP, DEA, and DILG. Nalulungkot po kami. The last time na nakakita ko ng ganito sa presentation ay sa loob ng kulungan. Can you imagine these weapons? Most of them are homemade weapons. Ay nasa tahanan at tangan-tangan ng mga ilang individual. Ano talagang kinalulungkot namin? Mahirap na nga yung lugar namin. Babahayan pa ng mga kriminal. Paano na ngayon yung mga nanay? tatay, ng mga batang inirarawis nila na walang tanging layunin kundi ma itaguyod ang kanilang pamilya at makapamuhay ng panatag mapayapa dito sa lungsod ng Maynila. Kung yung kapitbahay mo kung hindi nagtitinda ng droga baka mamaya inuupahan pa doon sa mga napapabalitang na gun for hire because these are loose parents And makikita ninyo yung ibang baril dito, pwede tanganan ng bata o ng teenager. Eh no wonder, ang baseko, kawawa namin mga kapitbahay, hindi mapanatag ang kalooban. O ngayon, nasaan na ang barangay? They will continue to deny the existence eh, dalawa lang mo ang ano ko dyan, ang nasa isipan ko. Dalawa lang. They continue to deny because they participate in these illegal activities. Because maybe nakikinabang sila sa ganitong industriya. Or talagang wala nang ginawa yung mga barangay official sa Baseco na para papayapain ang kanilang komunidad, papatatagin ang kalooban ng bawat pamilya sa Paseko. Puro na lang iligal, pati kuryente iligal. Pati ninyo video karera. O, hindi pa ba maliwanag yan? Barangay mo, may video karera? Dalawang bagay din yan. Wala nga talagang pakailang o pagmamalasakit sa pamayanan mo o nakikinabang ka sa illegal activities na ito. Either way, there is no business for these barangay officials to be there. And now we are submitting before the ILG that these barangay officials should be suspended of their uh, non-performance of their obligation or maybe not even cooperating with the campaign eliminating illegal activities in this corner of the city. Nakalulungkot. Mahirap na nga. Mahirap pang mabuhay. Now, having said that, We will not stop. We will clean Baseco of all illegal activities. We will give Baseco a peaceful, productive community. It's either there with us, those barangay officials, or there against us against the government. I think today is a testament proof of our claim, no matter how they will deny it. That's why I always tell you, you cannot resolve problems if you keep on denying it. 
So, pag yan nag exist wala kang kwenta o protector ka ng mga ganitong bagay. And I hope na at least Under Secretary Pimaco Jim Densin is now today with us. We are happy that he was sent by Secretary Anyo to witness this chaotic situation in the portion of the city. This will not only happen in Maseco. This will happen next to 275 Barangay 20 105 101, 128, 129, 123. So those who are living along the west side of the city, I think you mga bad elements. Stop doing these illegal activities or get out of the city of Manila. Hindi namin kayo kailangan dito sa Luzon. Hindi namin kayo papayagan na babuhin ang mga mahihirap naming komunidad. At dyan kayo magkukubli. Dyan kayo magkatago. Hindi po. Susuyurin po namin kayo sa lahat ng mga barangay chairman na binanggit kong barangay particular na west side of the city. Sana po makipagtulungan na kayo sa PDEA, makipagtulungan na kayo sa PNP, makipagtulungan na kayo sa DILG, makipagtulungan na kayo sa City Government of Manila. Now, as you can see, may mga tanod pa Tignan ninyo, this is not our ID. They claim to be traffic enforcer in the area. Firmado pa ng lumang administrasyon. So sa mga tao na nakakakita nito, hindi po to ID ng bagong gobyerno ng lungsod ng Maynila. Luma pa ho ang nakapirma. B -tab. B T A G Ito rin, kinsi-kinsi. Bawat sok pa. May sarili silang tolgin doon. Pag-inay nyo na naman. Dininay nyo nga na may basura eh. Mali daw ang PRRC. Dininay ninyo na may illegal activities sa kuryente. O nung pinutol namin yung kuryente, namatay yung buong kumulitan. <laughs> Dininay ninyo na walang ganito. Ayan na ito. Ha? So, anyway, pasensya na kayo. That is only my opening statement. I think we have proven our work and we will continue, but I would rather have General Danau to brief you on what really transpired during the course of massive saturation effort to clean Baseco of any illegal activities. Magandang araw po. Sir, 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 sir. Yes. Well, uh, I have uh, a mamagay ipin ko may infection. May nakain yata ako. Na masama. But uh, our hospital director uh, suggested that I should be taking antibiotic. Kaya magali lang, malayo sa bitong kaya. Kaya yakay-yaka pa. Kaya lang, masakit eh. Walang lang kayo mag-jojoke ha. Bawal ako tumawa, masakit eh. But so far, I'm good. Uh, yeah. 
my doctor said I should uh, rest in. But how can you rest? <laughs> Tell me, how can you rest? Ito ang iniwan sa aming Maynila. I cannot rest. I cannot afford to rest. So I will not stop. But I don't want to sound heroic, but I was given an opportunity by God and the people of Manila to serve, and I will serve up to the last breath, last day, to make Manila vibrant, peaceful, and progressive city someday, somehow, sa awa ng Diyos, at sa tulong ninyong lahat sa pagkikisa ninyo. So, guys, yes, Mayor, noong unang araw mo ay nagpa-press call regarding Maseco Cleary, uh, we went to the barangay chairman. Yes. Sabi niya, ang ginagawa ng barangay My answer is this. My answer is this. The thing speaks for itself. Yes. Sir, follow up to that. The barangay chairwoman is also saying that big big tema lang daw po siya ng politika. Napupulitika lang daw po siya. Masyado na siyang pelingkera. Awa, tigilan niya yung ano. Hindi kaya nagka-drugs niya siya. Tamang inala siya eh. This is governance. They are not performing. They are not even updating their list, in the drug list. Asan yung kanilang updated list? Why? Are they covering somebody? O baka naman dumating na sila sa level na sila na yung protector. Baka. And it's not up to me, for me to say so. I let the other agencies to identify them properly through their intelligence network. But as of now, you can, they can think they're entitled to their opinion. But this is no opinion at all. This is already facts of the situation. Eh, buti sana, alam nyo to. Ito, ito uh, sa totoo lang, ha? Sana, ha? Sana. Maintindihan ko pa eh kung operation to buong Maynila. Maintindihan ko yung dami nito? Yung dami nito? Maintindihan ko pa kung operation nito. Operation Bakal, uh, di ba? Lapkap. O, lahat na ng operation nangyari na. May mga pangalan na. Kung ito ginawa sa buong Maynila, medyo tolerable yung number. Ito nangyari sa isang barangay lang. Isang barangay lang. So, General Danau, please. Yes, sir. Dr. Richard, good friend from media, by our Apoche Internet. As a result of our simultaneous anti-criminality campaign, immediately after the mayor was instructed the Philippine National Police MPD to clean once and for all the Paseco area of illegal activities. Immediately, we have implemented the Oplan Paseco. And as a result of this, we have recovered and confiscated the different items. During the course of uh, clearing operation, saturation drive sa area ng Paseco, meron kami na plan for search warrant. And uh, that search warrant resulted on the arrest of at least four and the recovery of the different firearms. Doon sa two weeks na operation po na yun, uh, kasama na po dyan yung Oplan Galugat, Oplan Checkpoint, Choke Point sa area, at atin pong pinahay-bahay yung iba. Yung iba po dyan ay voluntary na sinorender na lang ito. Yung iba ay tinapon na lang. Yung iba naman ay na-recover doon sa encounters. No? Yung nasa kaliwa, yun yung mga na-recover sa encounter. No? Yun yung firearm na recover. So, as a result, we have recovered at least 63 
uh, firearms of different calibers. Nandiyan naman sa harapan ninyo. We also have recovered explosive. And we have recovered and arrested at least 37 for violation of 9165. Yun yung mga personalities na may hawak na droga at the time of the saturation drive. We also implemented, yung nakita natin ng mga violations, kasama na po dyan yung sa illegal gambling. In spite of the uh, mandate of our mayor to clean the area of illegal activities, particularly gambling, meron pa rin talagang nag-take life no? and mga video karera. We have at least uh, recovered or confiscated nine. We also implemented yung RA4136, yung violation sa mga sasakyan and impounded at least 70 motorcycles. Doon sa accomplishment din natin sa drug clearing, nag-implement din po tayo ng operation Tok Tok Hangyo or Tok Hang wherein kinatok natin yung mga bahay-bahay. Yung iba doon ay dati na may mga record. Yung mga iba ay invite naman natin for violation of the different city ordinances. Yun yung mga nakainom, nakahubat, kaabang naglalakad sa kaksada with a total of 700 plus, 720 to exact. After which, we also conducted different lectures sa different areas. Also one of the mandate of our city mayor and sinabi rin ito ni Presidente is you clearing ng ating mga kasada. And we are happy to say that isa sa barangay dyan, outpost, yun yung nasa entrada mismo ng Paseco, yung barangay 619, meron kasing parang outpost dyan, yung sinasabi ni Mayor kanina, na parang toll gate, choke point, it's part of the barangay actually. Bago ka papasok dyan, may pindot na yan, yun na yung 15-15 na bago sa makapasok, magpapayat ka ng kids eh. Clear off din po natin yan. So pinatanggal natin yung barangay outpost doon, which is illegally per se, obstructing yung ating kasada. And also, during the operation, we're in uh, tatlo ang na-encounter natin dyan. Yung dalawa ay unidentified pa rin hanggang ngayon. Yung isa, ay labas pasok tapos sa kulungan. Yun yung isang namatay sa area ng Parola. Kalalabas lang ng kulungan. Nung pumasok yung mga tao natin doon, naingkwentro na yung mga sibigyan natin tropa. Okay? And ito po yung mga naging resulta ng ating simultaneous anti-criminality campaign sa area ng Paseco. Gaya ng sinabi ng ating mahal na mayor, this will be a no let up campaign against all forms of illegal activities, particularly sa area ng Paseco. Hindi po tayo titigil dyan hanggang hindi na uubos ang mga gumagawa na kawalang iyan sa area na ito. Maraming salamat po. Uh, I would be very frank with you, no? Yung clearing operation natin sa ngayon, siguro dahil it was uh, announced, especially sinabi ni Mayor na kailangan clear off natin yan. Yung iba is nagkakakbuhan eh, sa ibang area. Sa matter of fact, uh, meron tayong mga narinig dyan sa ibang areas ng outside ng Paseco. Dyan nagsipagtago ngayon. So yung percentage, I would safely say na at least nabawasan ng kalahat sa ngayon. Sa ngayon, dahil sa resulta nito. Okay, pero we are expecting, kasi polis lang po ang pinabantayan dyan. Sigurado, pag alis ng polis dyan, balik na naman. Okay? So, sa nung kahapon, I would say, nasa lahati. At least, nabawas-bawasan. No? Pero sigurado po, pampanipuli yan. Pero gaya nga nasabi ng ating mahal na mayor, hindi namin titigilan ang operasyon sa eriyang yan hanggat hindi na uubos yung mga walang iyakan. General Dana, out of the 37 that were arrested, ano yung profile nito, sir? Are they mostly users or meron po ba yung medyo high-level na pusher? 
Uh, karamihan po kasi nito ay uh, gumagamit ng droga, no? And uh, yung iba rito were surprisingly uh, inspected or uh, habang nag-ano, yung iba dyan ay may mga daladalang shabu chassis with them, no? Yung iba naman, meron din po tayong na-aresto dyan na with uh, most wanted, di ba, ang kapares for robbery. Okay, so nandito po sa kanan namin. Uh, from area din po ng uh, Baseco po yan. Sir, may mga drug den pa po ba within Baseco? Did you discover still any drug den in Baseco? Uh, marami dyan eh, sa area talaga ng Baseco. Ah. Uh, kasi ito noon talaga ito na uh, layer ng uh, medyo mga hindi magandang gawain. No? As a matter of fact, for the past uh, few months, Uh, uso dyan yung patayan. Sila-sila po ang nagpapatayan dyan. Uh, isa nga po yung lugar na yan na nakakontribute ng uh, per high percentage ng uh, index ng martyr. Dahil sila-sila ang sila nagpapatayan. Yung iba po dyan ay nahuli na natin. Meron din po iba dyan na naikwento na ng mga tropa natin previously pa. And uh, ito lang, it's a good thing that we have a very uh, uh, with a high political will of uh, our mayor to really cleanse up the area. of all illegal forms of activity. Sir, one more from me. Kasi di ba po pinapasuspend na ni Mayor Isko yung mga barangay officials natin. Do we have any intel report on their involvement in the drug trade? Like specifically telling us na, na kasama po talaga sila sa pag-bedal ng drugs? Well, nandito naman po si Yusek Jan Singh. No? So siya po ang mag- uh, sila, yung office po ng DLG ang mag-analyze yan later. But the non-cooperation of the local officials specifically yung ating barangay officials uh, is not amount for uh, suspension, if not suspension, siguro o makagdan. Kasi pa bakit ayaw mo mag-operate kung wala ka naman tinatako niya? Kasi we believe na wala namang barangay dito, na wala namang lukuloko. Eh, sa pamilya mo, na dalawa na lang yan, lukuloko pa isa eh. Ito pa kayong barangay na 50,000 na tao niya. Yes, uh, meron tayong anin dito na drug ano din, users. sila. So, kung meron kaming ebidensya, hindi sila sumusunod sa order ng mayor. 
Ang ebidensya ito na pwede silang kasuhan administratively at kung sila pa'y nakikisama sa mga kriminal sa lugar, baka kriminal pa ang kanilang uh, aabutin at hindi lang suspension ang aabutin baka matanggal pa sila sa pwesto. Well, asa po ito. Once we get the data, we'll have it analyzed in their National Barangay Operations Office. Pag malinaw po yung ebidensya, we'll, find, we'll give them a chance to explain also. No? Uh, we will still uh, undertake the whole due process thing. No? And once a due process has been made, and we still see that they are liable for non-action of formal feasance and misfeasance, dire-direcho na yung kaso. Mabilis po ito. Mabilis. Ay, yung inahari sa'yo, ito pa lang, tapos hindi ka. Nahanap ko nga dito yung barangay captain, nandito ba siya? O tamo, wala siya dito. This is, that's already uh, an evidence na wala siyang pakialam sa nangyayari sa kanyang lugar. Itong mga bagay na ito, coordinative dapat ang pulis sa barangay officials. That's the standard operating procedures. So the fact na nag-operate ang pulis, hindi nag-coordinate yung barangay at maraming nahuli dito at wala pa siya dito, ebidensya na yan na hindi niya ginagawa ang kanyang trabaho. Ngayon, lahat po ng polis noong Sunday nagtrabaho, bibigyan ba natin din sila ng commendation? Lahat po pinaghirapan nilang paglilinis ng Baseco, lalo na Station 5? Of course, uh, we'd always recommend and uh, recognize efforts of city hall employees who went out of their way to serve the people of Manila. No? And the same thing with uniform personnel. Uh, we'd always recommend people or our uh, police na uh, you know, bigyan ng konting pagkilala. In our own little way, among ourselves, we are doing it nowadays. No? But uh, with this uh, effort, and I think it's going to be a continuing effort, we will uh, commend them to the police hierarchy or their uh, organization. Yes, it's definite. Yes. Tapos, baka naman hindi mabigat sa kamay ba ninyo? Uh, pwede ba palakpakan nyo naman mga alis po? At least mas mura sa Baseco, kisi-kisi lang. Hindi <laughs> kasi, alam nyo, yung nilusan nila General Danao, Kung nakita niyo yung video sa YouTube, yung preparation, it's really a huge preparation without any exaggeration because it's very dangerous for each and every police to go on his own alone for a few. Pwede sila makatay doon. I mean, posible. But uh, with this effort, uh, they go the, uh, the concept of Blitz Green and Shaq and all, caught unaware sila. And, okay, if I may remind you, uh, nag-diplomasya pa kami. Saan kayo nakakita ng gobyerno? Oy, paparating na mga alagad ng batas. Why? Why do we say that? Why, why do we do that? Because we don't want uh, unnecessary loss to both sides. The criminals, suspects, PIO, and of course, to our uniform personnel. Because we value life. But given a chance, uh, worst scenario, they have to protect their lives also. The way they are guided to protect human rights. Others. So, kami nga lang na yata gobyerno sa buong Pilipinas ang nagsasabi, Oy, umalis na kayo dyan. Despite of that, ito ngayon ang resulta. Mano pa kaya pagka hindi kami nag-abiso? Kaya lang, baka mas maging madugo, mas, mas malaking problema. So kami, gusto lang namin mag-gobyerno. Ang gusto lang namin, panata ang mamamayan ng lusod ng Manila. Kaya pa ang ating pamayanan. Yes. So in line with um, police commentation,
Nation, there's a national debate ongoing kung dapat daw bang mag-receive ng cash rewards or hindi ba dapat ah. release. Anong policy sa Manila? <coughs> well, if they're going to receive cash reward, if given a chance, and if it is money of the city, then they have to receive it officially. So I think there is no violation on that. I think uh, your, what you're asking is any forms of gifts other than your salary is prohibited. That's what they say. No, I am not a, a judge to to uh, you know properly identify what is prohibited and what is not. But if the city government, like we are doing, that our policeman is receiving 2,500. Hindi nga lang nila nakukuha ng tamang oras. They are receiving 2,500 a month from the city government. They should receive. They should because it is a law from the city government. The same thing that we are giving to other national agencies here inside this building. Sabihin, kung meron ganun pamamaraan, halimbawa, may kakayanan kami, legitimately, oh, yes po, oh, kundi porbecho, pero yung porbecho legal, di batas, I think it is deemed proper. Pero ang masama dyan, yung outside, Yun. Tingin ko ha, tingin ko yun yung uh, medyo prohibited. Uh, now, I, I will let a uh, right I mean, uh, person or forum to address that situation. For the meantime, we'll commend them. At least sa commendation, laway lang ang puhunan. Sa katinta lang. Hindi na namin yan ipagdaramot sa kanila. Now, Eh, awan Diyos, nakaluwag-luwag ang Maynila o maging updated yung aming konting uh, what we call financial assistance under existing law uh, dito sa lungsod ng Maynila. Okay? So, thank you. Congratulations. Uh, General Danao and members of the Maynila Police Committee. Maraming salamat. Uh, Secretary Anyo, uh, lahat ng kasapi ng DILG, now here, Yusuf Tensi, sampu ng inyong mga kasama, maraming salamat sa inyo sa tulong na binibigyan ninyo sa Maynila, sa PIDEA, maraming salamat sa inyo at sa lahat ng ISA ng National Government, maraming salamat sa inyo. At nawa, makamtan natin ang direksyon. Makamit natin ang direksyon ng lungsod ng Maynila na maging malinis, maayos at mapayapang lungsod o kapitulyo ng ating uh, bansa. Sa inyong lahat uh, dito, huwag uh, kayong magalala. Again and again, this is just a start. Every time is always a start. We consider everything is a start. Sabihin, we will not rest Relent, will be relentless in addressing the peace and order situation of the city of Manila. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. Kasi yung mga testing ko. Photo up, sir. Ah, sa po yung. Photo up, photo up. Ito, kalbo. Oh, yan. Nadali pa, siya. Okay, so yun lang sa media, i-blur nyo na lang yung mukha nila sa TV ha. O, tulungan nyo na kami o, to protect their human rights. Ito naman, ito. Most wanted. Most wanted. Top number 8. Ika nyo yan. Yan ang benepisyo ng pagkataisa ng pagsasayos. Nadalit. Every week, may nagdadali tayo ang post wanted eh. Sumuko na kayo. Sumuko na lang. Tapos ano, kung ayaw nyo sumuko, umalis kayo sa Maynila. Huwag, huwag po rito sa Luxor ng Maynila. And uh, we would like to thank also 
of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte for giving us uh, resources of the national government under his office. In this case, the Department of Interior and Local Government and PIDEA. In our own little way, we continue and follow that direction to keep the country clean of illegal activities and drugs and all other crimes or uh, uh, organized crime, organized group or criminal elements or bad elements, whatever tagging that you call it in our own little way. So, maraming maraming salamat. Again, sa mga kapagayan natin, nananawagan na ko, walang magmamalasakit sa ating mga batang Maynila, kundi tayo rin kapwa batang Maynila. Okay? Manila! God first. Thank you. Dito po, ay, sisipok. One, two, 